In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called range of a quadratic function. We're given a function here, f of x, and we're asked to find the range in interval notation. And we'll start by recalling that the range will be all of the possible y values. And if we think of the shape for this quadratic, since the leading coefficient is positive, we know that it will be opening upwards. So if we find our vertex here, that would give us the x and y value, and importantly, the y value that is the minimum value for y's for this quadratic. And if our quadratic was in the form y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, we would easily be able to identify the vertex, which is hk. Since this equation is not in the form that I want, I'm actually going to complete the square to write it in this form. So I'll start by writing f of x as just our y value. And then since I'm gonna have a coefficient outside of the x squared portion, I'm going to factor the three out of these first two terms. That would leave me with an x squared plus a 10x. And then the 71 I can leave on the outside. So I didn't factor the three out of 71. And I can see that this is a little closer to the format that I'm trying to get. But inside my parentheses here, I need to complete the square so that it will be some x minus h squared. And to do so, I would take half of the middle term here, 10, and square it. So plus 25. But I can't just randomly add 25. And actually, whenever I put that plus 25 there, that 3 would also get distributed to the 25, meaning that I just added 75 to the right-hand side here. I would want to also subtract 75 so that I'm not actually altering the equation. And from here, I can rewrite the x squared plus 10x plus 25 as an x plus 5 squared. That's the perfect square that I got from completing the square. And then outside of the parentheses, the 71 minus 75 would be a minus 4. And from here, we can see that our vertex, h and k, first the h in this form is the opposite of the number behind the x, so the opposite of 5, negative 5. And the k is the number outside the parentheses, here a minus 4. So our vertex is minus 5, minus 4. We know that it opens up. So our range, all of the possible y values, the k value here, minus 4, is going to be the minimum y value, since it's going to move up from there, either to the left or to the right of the vertex. Our minimum value is minus 4, inclusive. So it could be minus 4. It will be minus 4 at the vertex. And then going up from there. So up to positive infinity, we use our non-inclusive rounded brackets for infinity. Our range, now that we found the h and k, is minus 4 to infinity. 